Hey, how's it going boys and girls? Carries here and welcome to the Care Club where we build cool things together. So I saw this request to make a waterfall which I thought it was interesting. Then later when I did some research, I learned that waterfall comes in different shapes and size. The most interesting thing that I learned is that there are 11 types of waterfall. In today's video, we're going to make the plunge waterfall. Don't forget to like and subscribe in support of this channel. We have finally reached 1000 subscribers on this channel after being on YouTube for years. This is only possible because of you guys. I know a lot of you have been promoting this channel even though you don't have to. So thank you guys many thousand times over. We will do more celebrating over the weekend at the Care Club. There is a giveaway of 10 million coins every Friday. All you have to do is subscribe and put your Roblox username in the pinned comments below. Also, join the Care Club on Discord or Roblox group to be part of the Care community. The link is in the description. With that, let's get started. So what exactly is a plunge waterfall? This is what Google has to say about it. Plunge waterfalls are defined as blah 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 blah. Basically means water being poured into a cup. Simple as that. To get started, I'm going to start with the simplest part, which is a valley where all the water falls into. In this part, you're going to need to know a little bit of landscaping if you are doing it by yourself. If not, I added a blueprint for the dimensions of the valley and you can just copy that. I'm not going to talk through this since this is basically a repetitive process. Once you have it all drawn out, your valley should look something like this and yes, the bottom is pitch black. The valley is not done yet. We are going to fully decorate it before we make the waterfall because we will be covering it all up with water. First, turn the third layer into aquamarine block. Plow up the second layer and add a bit of gravel. Then on the first layer, we just plow some random dirt. For the last tiny touch of detail, you can add some sea grass and some corals. I added a treasure chest and some sea lanterns to light up the place. The last thing to do is cover up the valley with glass and that will be our water. Now we're ready to make the waterfall. The easiest way that I can explain to you is to build the waterfall backwards by starting from the water surface and move our way up. If you are watching this and saw that I am building from top to bottom, you can totally do it that way. It just takes a little longer. So to make the waters falling down, we need to make an outline to measure where the water should land. I like my water to fall in an arc. For you, it may be different. So edit the outline until you like what you see and move on. Once you have the outline finished, now we can go through each layer and replace every block with a combination of glass, blue glass, and iron block. You don't have to focus on every little bit of detail like me, I just like to make things look as realistic as possible. If you can replace all the blocks, it is good enough. To make your water more visible, I'm going to complete the cliff for the background. If you are building this on a tall cliff already, don't worry about it. Now you can see the waters clearly. For the last bit of detail to make things more realistic, you can create mist by placing a lot of random glass block at the bottom of the waterfall. And that's it! This is the basic plunge waterfall. Thank you guys for watching and I hope that you guys had a fun time here. If you have any questions or suggestions, leave them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer everyone's comment and fulfill everyone's request. Also, if you guys want to get in touch with me, join the Discord channel or Roblox group called the Care Club. The invitation link is in the description. All that asks is that you be respectful to the rules that we have in place. Don't forget the next 10 million coin giveaway is happening again next Friday. So be sure to leave your Roblox username in the pinned comment section if you haven't already done so. So with that, thank you guys once again for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video in game or at the Karen Club. Take care everybody.